damn it. They got another young black man in cuffs. Sick of this, man. Sick of the image. They out here rounding up the posse, rounding up everybody, throwing them in vans. I'm just sick of it, man. And we all tired of it. That's why it's going down like that. Because, you know, you just lost one. It's so silly. How come? Fully realized defeat. What in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? Now, this right here is a prime real estate example of why black folks and people of color stay pissed off and mistrustful of the cops. This dude came outside and towards these police officers with the fully realized aggression. Weapon in hand, yelling at the top of his lungs and cussing with the good, solid cuss words, too. Slinging that weapon right out of the toolbox, right at the cop's nugget. And y'all see it. Y'all see it. I don't want to hear no excuses on this one. Y'all see it. If this was a black dude and he came outside with fresh baked cookies for the cops with oven mitts on, they would have opened fire 16 bullets per cop. Oh, 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 he had a weapon. Oh, you mean the freshly baked chocolate chip cookies with the toll house morsels up in there? Cops are out here shooting and killing kids, running up in people's apartments where they live and shooting them while they're at home eating ice cream, shooting women that are playing video games with their nephew. But this dude comes out with the fullest of aggressions with the flannel on. You know, that flannel is all aggression. Full weapon in hand, cussing, threatening their lives. I will kill you. You're going to die, man. With the flower pot of aggression on the walk off. And they just letting him walk around and do his thing. Meanwhile, meanwhile, we come out hands up, clearly no weapon, holding the baby carriage. And we still getting lit up. And the baby in the carriage is getting lit up as well. I don't want to hear no excuses. Don't give me no, well, 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 they had a record back. I don't give a damn. Y'all see it. You see it right here. You see it right here. Sick of this. And mind you, this dude is unstable, clearly. But they gave him a chance to live another unstable last day. But a lot of us aren't afforded that luxury. I'm sick of it, man. But you see it right here. Look at him. Swinging and dipping, doing karate moves. Dipping. Here's a threat. You're dead, man. And he walks off with the flower pot of destiny. I'm sick of it. Man, man, look out, man. Look at me. Hmm? Yeah, that's right. Black Angus, mother... Hey, get, get your human hands off me. Hmm? Oh, well, they, they, oh, this is where I come to state my peace. Huh? You know what, man? They're about to hear my story. Cause y'all go flipping and dipping and make y'all look like the victims. I'm the victim here. I'm the victim. Sick of y'all, man. Where, where's the little recording, the device, and the, and the little surveillance footage? I got something to say. Y'all gonna hear me out. Y'all gonna try to change the narrative. What's up, people? This is Angus, man. Now, as we look at the tape, man, they was trying to take your boy down, man. They was trying to take your boy down as a unit. Couldn't couldn't give me a fair one one-on-one, -on -one, so they got the whole crew. Even got a cop in here, so now I got to deal with all that drama. You know, all the drama that the police bring. I got to deal with all that, man. They tried to give me... Tried to get your boy, tried to hold me down, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm black. I'm black out here, man. So you, you you already know what time it is with that. But let me get off my little high bull and get y'all the real, man. I just wasn't having it, man. I just was not having Oh, we looking at the tape. Yo, your boy looking slim and fast on this tape, though, man. I'm, I'm looking pretty robust and agile, man. Look at this tape, man. I'm glad somebody captured this because I'm, I'm looking right. <laughs> hey, ladies. Anyway, let's look at the tape, man. Dude in the red shirt thought he was a matador. Had to hit him with the crossover. Gave him the linguine ankles, and then these other two dudes didn't know what the hell to do. So I had to hit him with the soft cram, and then the skid that diddly dee. And then the cop was soft, man, useless. Black Angus. 
Had McDonald's Skid, skid, skid that diddly dee Now what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? I thought these police battering rounds were supposed to be one-hitter quitters. They out here on the bus stand struggle. Here, Daniels, you take over. They had the tag teaming up, and Daniels came in on pure emotion out here. He cocking that thing all the way back to 1985, Doc. Kirk Patrick, Kirk Patrick, Kirk Patrick. He had to tap into some emotional trauma just to do a dent on that thing. And look at look at Roberts, he back in the mix now. Cram, cram, cram. They'd have been better off hiring a local goat to get this door open because they ain't doing a goddamn thing. I've seen lumberjacks chop down entire trees quicker than this. The rest of the police force is looking at this like, yeah, I'm going to get my little uh, overtime paperwork after this. And tried every angle on this. Finally, finally. And the dude's going in there like, I forgot what we was even here for. Let me tell you something. Whoever was inside that apartment had time to wake up after hitting the snooze button seven times, wash their face, brush their teeth, make a complete breakfast consisting of toast, eggs, turkey bacon, and freshly cut avocado. They had time to call their associates calmly and say, yeah, the cops are right outside my apartment. I'm going to go ahead and flush the stash. They had time to go into the bathroom, light an incense, bring in the stash of kilos of cocaine, heroin, and meth, flush every one of them down the toilet individually, change the litter box. Then for the stash they didn't flush, they had time to sell the remaining product out the apartment window to those that were waiting on the fire escape to purchase said drug. Then they had time to get back on the phone to update the stash situation with the connect and the associates on three-way, letting them know that they flushed the majority of the stash and sold off the rest. Then after they hung up the phone, they had to go into the living room to check in on the orgy that was being performed by illegal immigrant prostitutes in the living room with underage minors involved, making sure that was running smoothly so they can get everybody up out of there in a timely, orderly, and calm fashion out the fire escape window, only after the customers have climaxed. Then after they make sure that everybody is accounted for and happy with the services they were provided in this apartment they leave one by one off the fire escape then after they shut the window they go and check on the dead bodies that they still have time to dismember and dissolve in the bathtub and then immediately flush those contents down the toilet while lighting a second incense then after that they go and check in on the paperwork that proves that they haven't been paying taxes, shred that down, recycle it, make water bottles out of it, fill it up with Flint water, then get that refiltered. Then after that, go back in the bathroom, rinse out the bathtub of the acid that was used to dissolve the dead bodies, take a shower, come out, make lunch consisting of a spinach salad with chicken, boiled egg, green peppers, avocados, and a light ball balsamic vinaigrette and wash the dishes by hand that was used to prepare said lunch, sit in the living room, open USA Today to the life section and wait for the cops to come in. Legs crossed, candles lit. Let me tell y'all something. If I ever get kidnapped, do not send this particular police squad to come get me because by the time they would have gotten the apartment, I would have been murdered chalk outline sent to the morgue autopsied eulogized memorialized buried exhumed because they forgot that i said i wanted to be cremated and not buried i would have been cremated my ashes would have been given to the baker boys who scattered my ashes in lake michigan then a movie would have been written and produced 
by ABC about the story of my life and this ordeal. It would have been casted, recasted, reshot. The budget would have went overboard. They still would have produced it. It would have got a set day to air on ABC. It's a two-part miniseries. Part one would have aired already. Part two would have aired the following week. And when the credits rolled on part two, they would have been walking into the apartment. And what type of vibranium adamantium is this door made? out of whoever made thor's hammer made this goddamn door man who who had the infinity stones to make this door